be against PSG, who have qualified. They're battling, though, to finish top of the group. Uh, they thrashed uh, Mackie Haifa by seven goals to two. Frank Lepouf was keeping an eye on this one. Frank, exhibition stuff. This is kind of what we all expected, wasn't it, when you've got Mbappe, Neymar and Messi all playing together? Yeah, exactly. It's, it's what we uh, we've seen today. Uh, a great performance for the from the three musketeers, and uh, like they did, like Messi and Mbappe did uh, in uh, in the league uh, against Ajaccio uh, last weekend. And uh, we saw everything. We saw what we want to see. We, supposedly, they don't they don't get along very well together. But when they are on the field, you know, they try to look for each other. They try to play uh, for each other. They make passes between each other. And they assist others uh, and score goals for the for the Paris Saint Germain. It's what we want to see, and it's what we we saw again today. It was a fantastic performance. I think Messi is back to what we saw uh, um, when he was at his best with Barcelona in terms of finishing. Maybe he runs even less than before. Uh, maybe he doesn't participate like he never did uh, in the defensive aspect of the game, but offensively. The guy is sharp. He, he didn't lose anything. He's quick. He's fast. He's, uh, he's, um, he, he does what he has to do. He, he knows how to play simple and serve the others. But on top of it, he scored again today two magnificent goals. But it was. Yeah, it was. It was a lower quality opposition. I was going to say the whipping boys. The whipping boys in the group, but it's the head to head <laughs> yeah, with the other whipping boys in the group. <laughs> Juventus. Where are we with this circus? This week, I don't well, know. It's, it's a nice Given circus. Spain, it, the it, narrative has changed. Are they? Are they? Are they getting on this well, week? Well, well, Paris isn't in Spain. <laughs> no, but you've been away, and I think you, once you're in Spain, <laughs> right? You know what's going on? Anything in the rest else? Of the world. Like, you're, no in, idea you're, in, what's you're in your little bubble. Where are we, Frank? Are we in? <laughs> are we in Maccabi Haifa love land this week <laughs> with these three? <laughs> well, I'm not including Messi. <laughs> Now the thing, the thing is, is it's crazy because yes, you can find every stories you want to find, you know, and we know that uh, Mbappe uh, was very loud um, lately, and and, um, and and we had many stories. But at the end of the day, what I saw today, when I when I watched the game, and I, you know, the body language uh, is very important in our in our game, and. Uh, when you see that the players, they immediately when they get the ball, they try to find it, the other. Maybe, maybe they want to emphasize too much the fact that they want to show to the world that they get along very well. Maybe, but it works. So I don't care what they, they're going to say in the press conferences, what they're going to say between each other. As long as they play like that, of course, it's Maccabi Haifa with all due respect. But they did what they had to do, and, we, and they did what we expect uh, from them playing with each other, trying to find each other, and serving each other, and it's what they did. So for me, everything is perfect tonight for, for Paris Saint-Germain oh. so far with the three guys. That's part of the job, isn't it? Playing with each other. Anyway, I know we don't want to spend too, too much time on PSG because it's a bit of a giant bore, isn't it? But trust me, <laughs> trust me, once... once uh, if they get knocked out in the group stage, in the uh, knockout stage, yes. trust me, where it is going to be a bloodbath yes. of blame. <laughs> yeah, very much. It's going to be so much fun. Yeah. Look how you're excited by that. Oh, no, no, listen, I don't, I don't want them to get... Well, maybe I do, I don't know. But, you know, it is. The odds are pretty good, to be fair. Obviously, we're not just talking about today, but Messi has been yeah. very much improved to what we saw last season. Listen, he, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter who you're playing against, really. You've got to produce. Right. And, as Frank said, it was like watching the wee guy of old. You know, just cutting inside, nice and sharp, and he's using his brain. You know, he's not looking for it every single time they have possession. He's picking his spots and saving his energy. And so when he needs it, he's got that little bit of fire in his, in his feet. And then he just, well, does what he does. Sticks balls in the top corner or the bottom corner, whichever place he fancies it. When it comes to proper opposition in the knockout stages, Frank, can you trust these three together? Because obviously it fell apart against Real Madrid, didn't it, last time out? Well, that's going to be the question mark uh, that we're going to we're going to we're going to ask we, to to each other and to everybody else because we know Paris Saint Germain. We know that a, a little spark, you know, can ruin everything, and we know that. I would say that so far, so good. Uh, what's going to happen after the World Cup? You know, if Brazil wins, you know, <laughs> will we uh, see Neymar again in Paris? <laughs> we don't know. Uh, uh, how's going to be Mbappe after the after the World Cup if he doesn't work for France? 
will he be uh, sp speaking out, you know, to express his uh, his uh, his sadness, whatever it could be, and and we all wait for 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 the Champions League games because we all know that in February something happens and something yep. will happen, maybe for the good, but most of the time it's been a catastrophe. Every time we saw uh, after the New Year, uh, Paris Saint Germain playing in the Champions League, we don't know so far. And we just have to wait and be a little bit patient to please Craig Burley and to see if the circus is still on. Have we got to wait uh, that long? Mm, February? Uh, we got the World Cup, Craig, first. Though. Yeah. Uh, so we know that it will be Benfica <laughs> or indeed PSG will finish top of the group there. Meanwhile, Chelsea guaranteed top spot uh, with a win. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.